Alright guys, so today uh, I'm going to show you the press brake tooling that I made for actually forming some pieces for the roll cage. Uh, this is to bring where uh, two pieces of inch and a half tube come together perpendicular. So I made these uh, press tooling to make this U-shaped uh, piece of sheet metal and that goes over the tube like this and then the other tube goes perpendicular and then a second piece of U-shape goes on like that and then these two will bolt together. <clears throat> so that'll give me, allow me to take the uh, some roll tubes apart but still have a nice connection and then these will get welded to each piece of tube to hold it together. So Not an easy shape to make, so I made this uh, tooling. And it's just some layers of steel that I welded together, and I experimented a bit to get to this. Um, here's a piece of inch and a half steel shaft, and so we put the flat piece of sheet metal right here. We put the top on like that and then we're going to put it in the press and we're going to press and form that shape. So next thing I'm going to do is cut a piece of uh, sheet metal and it's actually plate. Uh, it's four inches wide, eighth of an inch thick and I'll cut about five inches long. So we'll put that in right here and then use the press to press it together. So. Alright, it's five inches long. I want that in place on the vise here. Shine up uh, and clean up the burrs from the bandsaw on the uh, belt sander. I got this new uh, switch on there so it's nice and safe. Okay, here's the chunk of eighth inch plate. Uh, it's five inches wide, four inches this way. And we're gonna put it in, I've marked the center line on it so I can put it in here and get it all lined up. So I'll do that and then we'll move the camera so we can get a nice end view in here so you can watch it as it forms up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start uh, pumping this down and you can watch it form. Looks pretty nice right there. I'm going to go ahead and release it up. Got a little troll bar to pry the top back off. Alright. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. So there's our part, nice and even edges. Um, you can see the where it drew down into the die there. I rounded the edges of the die so it could draw down in there. Those are just cosmetic scratches there. So flange has turned out nice and even. It's nice and centered up. Uh, we just got to make four more of those, three more of those actually. All right. I've got all four of them uh, formed up in the press now. Uh, now we're going to go over to the mill and punch in the holes to bring them together. Um, they've got to be exactly equal from here to here as they are from here to here since we're going to be using these perpendicular like this. So they've got to line up. Uh, so we're going to use the mill with digital readout to place those holes exactly. Okay, we've got the first of the plates here uh, locked into the vise of the mill. Uh, I've got digital readout. I found center of uh, where the part is and now we're going to go in and punch in the four holes so they're equally spaced apart.
Okay, there. That should be nice and square. Take that one out. And you'll notice that I clamp this from the ends so that I won't crush the, uh, the sides down by clamping it. So that'll get us nice and square holes. On to the next one. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we've got two of them done. And let's just check to see how they line up. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I've got them perpendicular to each other. And they line up perfectly. So that'll make it real easy for our bolts to drop in, hold those tubes together, and we'll show that in just a little bit. Thanks for watching. Okay, we've got all four parts cut out. There is some burrs on the holes. So we're just going to use a unibit and the drill to clean those up. Like there's a good size burr. Unibit does a nice job of cleaning that up. Alright, so there's one all nice and cleaned up. Do the rest of these here quick. Okay, here we go. So now we can, uh, all four of those parts are done. So you're probably wondering where are these plates? Where's this tube intersection that I'm uh, talking about? I'll show you that. This is looking at the rear of the all-terrain track chair. So we've got this hoop right here and that's going to mount into this engine cradle. Then we've got a down bar from the main hoop up there. There'll be a joint up there that's removable. It comes down here and it ties into the back of the track chair. In order to disassemble all this and service it, we've got to have this joint be removable. So that's where these plates come into play. So one goes underneath like this, and one's going to go on top, and those will fold together, make a nice joint right there that's both strong and removable. So I can clamp it up for getting everything situated and set up, and then once I'm all done, then I'll weld these plates to the tubes so then the bolts can hold it all in place and they won't move and slide. So there'll be one here and there'll be a second bar that'll be right here coming down and tying in the back of the frame. So that'll protect the motor and rear compartment in case of a rollover. Hopefully that never happens, but uh, we want to be protected just in case. So that's where these plates are going um, and that allows us to keep going on the assembly of the rear roll gauge. Okay, I got the first one bolted in place, so I'll zoom in so you can see that. So there it is. Got all four bolts in there so you can see all the two tubes intersect. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.